Welcome to a BMC video. Today I'm going to show you how to increase a smart reporting database performance. There could be the case that your smart reporting is getting so slow and one of the reasons will be the performance of your database. To check this, we can run simple queries into the database to find this out. The first two tables that you need to check are the event and the event archive table. You can run these two queries to find out how big they are. If these tables grow so big, more than 100,000 rows, you can go astray and delete them. To achieve that, you can simply truncate those tables. These two tables only contain historical data of the tool. If you truncate them, it won't affect the functionality of the tool. You can run these two queries again to check out if they were successfully erased. Next step, to ensure these two tables won't grow that big again, we'll need to limit the data. For this, we can run these two queries. But before that, we need to get this number that is the organization role. For this, we can simply run this query and find out the name of your organization. In my case, it's the 12021. So we can simply replace this value and put it in here. These two queries will make some changes into the configuration table. The first one means that every 30 days, the data will flow from the event table to the event archive, archive table. And the second one means that every 60 days, the event archive table will get wiped out. You can modify these numbers accordingly to your necessities. The last change that we need to do is to clean the document table, but we cannot go ahead and just truncate this table because it contains more information. So the first action that we need to do is to run this query. This query will mark all the folders to do not save any further historical data. After that, You'll need to run this query. You can find it out on the knowledge article referred to this video. All the data that is before this date will be wiped out. After running this query, all the data that was stored on the database will get erased, and now you should have a better performance on your database. This concludes all the actions that are required to increase the performance of your smart reporting database. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next time.